Hi, my name is Eric Gervais at Cargus, and today I wanted to show you two really great features from HubSpot that allow you to automate lead submission from your website and then automate the follow-up process once you've received that lead so that your sales team can more efficiently and quickly uh, follow up with new leads. So the first thing that you're going to see here is the form manager inside of HubSpot. So uh, to get there, I go to marketing. I go to lead capture and I go to forms and what you'll see is I created a form uh, that will be placed on a website a new contact us form and in this case it's collecting it's collecting so you can view the form here it's collecting email phone number first name last name message very easy to set up very easy to add the fields and all of those fields once filled out will go directly into a contact record in this case um, inside of HubSpot, but I'll close that form. I just wanted you to kind of get a feel for where that form's coming from. And then I'm going to go back out to our actual website. So uh, this is a fictitious, fictitious energy company called Warmth Energy, uh, and this is their homepage. And I'm a customer, and I'm going to go through and scroll through. Oh, this looks great. I'd love to do business with these guys. How do I learn? So I click Contact Us Now, and what you'll notice is this is just a basic landing page where you can collect information. And this, this is that same form embedded inside of the Warmth Energy website. So I can collect an email address here. So I'm gonna say Jalen Hertz uh, one at AOL.com, 215-555-1212, Jalen Hertz. Propane delivery. And once I submit this form, now what's going to happen is it's going to send that information that I just collected directly into HubSpot. So if I go into the contact set section over here, um, you'll actually see Jalen Hertz right here um, was passed directly into the CRM uh, directly from there. So what it's going to tell you is now the lifecycle stage right here was uh, updated to lead. And they filled out, so in this middle section, it's a, it shows you that it filled out, that Jalen filled out a form submission from your website on a contact us form. Uh, so uh, all the basics of that new lead, the email address, phone number, and uh, first and last name of that lead. So uh, now we've got a lead started. Um, we can also um, initiate some automation to follow up with that lead. So I click on this and I can start a sequence right here. And a sequence is just basically a series of activities that you want to do, a series of steps that you want to do uh, against a lead or an opportunity. Uh, but I'm actually going to walk into the sequences tool so you can see uh, what those steps are. I've already pre-created one, but you can create new ones with whatever steps you want them to be. And in this case, I've created an inbound lead um, propane uh, process here. So the steps in that process are uh, an automated email goes out when that lead comes in and it has a template associated with it and it's trying to get a meeting. And then the second step is uh, the salesperson is supposed to contact the lead. So there's a task set for the salesperson to follow up and it'll show up in their task list. And then two business days later, they're going to send another email if they haven't set a meeting with us. And then one more business day, we're going to make one final call for that lead. So essentially, we know two automated emails are going to go out to this lead and two manual calls are going to go out to this lead every time we get a new inbound lead. So you're, you're automating some of the steps. You're uh, creating manual tasks for the sales team uh, to make sure to follow up. And then you're also going to get reporting around how people uh, respond to these. And if somebody actually uh, responds to it and sets a meeting, then it'll, we have rules in place that it'll unenroll them from the sequence so they don't continue to get calls and emails from us once they've done the thing we want them to. And then finally, we can create workflows. I kind of mentioned some of those. So you can, as I said, any email in the sequence. Um, so if there's multiple uh, people from the same company, we'll unenroll them because we don't want multiple people from the same company getting this email. Um, if any scheduling page, so if they set a meeting with us through a scheduling page, we'll take them out of the sequence. And then also going back, you can create a workflow um, that when this form is filled out, so 
contact submits that contact us form that we showed you, uh, we can enroll a contact automatically. So every new lead that fills out that form will follow these steps um, in the sales process and enroll them in a sequence. So uh, the, the different things you can again do is collect new inbound leads directly from your website, pass them into HubSpot, and then automatically enroll them in a series of steps that both um, are automated and manual for your sales team to make sure you cover these leads well. Uh, so I hope this was a really great uh, demo for you of uh, web forms and sequences in HubSpot, just a couple of the really great tools to automate your sales process inside of HubSpot. Thanks.